Hi everybody, welcome to Storytime with Jen. My name is Jen, what's your name? Magnificent! Today we'll be reading a story out of this big book called Stories of the Seasons. But first, let's tickle those ears to make sure they're ready to listen. Are you ready? Great, let's begin. Little Raindrop, written by Melanie Joyce and Suzanne Fossey, and illustrated by Gina Maldonado. Little Raindrop. When I was a raindrop, I lived up in a cloud. One day, thunder rumbled by and boomed up very loud. Come now, little raindrops, get ready to let go. You've got important work to do down in the world below. A flash of zigzag lightning streaked across the sky. Ooh, cried all the raindrops. See you later, cloud. Goodbye. They jumped into the air and I jumped with them too. Have fun, said Cloud. I wish that I could come along with you. Down and down we fell, giggling and shouting. Whee! Oh, what fun to be a raindrop flying free. From high up in the sky, we saw the earth below. Sunbeams shone through us and made a lovely big rainbow. After that, quite suddenly, I landed with a splat and dribbled down the tail of a soggy farmyard cat. I seeped into the soil, trickling down and down past the pink wiggling worms far below the ground. I saw a friendly mole who was digging by some shoots. Before I knew it, I'd been sucked into the roots. I traveled slowly up the stem. It was quite a climb. Phew! Hello, smiled the flower bud. You're here just in time. This way, the flower told me, and then it opened wide. What a nice surprise to see my raindrop friends inside. We had so much fun sharing stories of our day. As the warm sun slowly set and the light faded away, we tried to count the stars instead of counting sheep, but the petals were so comfy, we all fell fast asleep. <sighs> when the morning came, the sun shone hot and bright. We all felt quite peculiar, sort of shaky and light. Slowly, we drifted upward. There was no way to resist, for I and all of my raindrop friends had turned into a mist. What's happening? I asked floating higher with the crowd. The others laughed and said, we're going back into our cloud. Welcome back, said Cloud. I hope you all had fun. It's time for you to rest now that there's lots of sun. But soon the wind will blow again and turn the weather vain. And you'll have more adventures. Next time it starts to rain. When it rains, water droplets fall from the clouds down to the earth. There they trickle into rivers or seep into soil where they are sucked up into the roots of thirsty plants. When the sun shines, the water droplets warm up and turn into mist which floats up to the sky. As the droplets cool down again, they turn back into clouds. Now the water cycle can begin again. Thanks for hanging out with me today. I'll see you later.
Do you love the rain? I love the rain. Today we'll be learning about where rain comes from. Rain. There are three important things we need to know. First is evaporation. Second is condensation. And third is precipitation. Evaporation is when liquid turns into gas or vapor. Like this, when you boil water, this turns into this. Liquid, gas or vapor. Just like when the sun, the warm sun, heats up all the water on earth, all the water on earth turns into gas or vapor. Condensation. Condensation is when gas or vapor turns into liquid. Take this very cold water bottle. If it sits outside under the warm sun, you will see condensation around the water bottle. Like this. The warm air, gas or vapor around the water bottle will touch the cold water bottle and turn into liquid like those little droplets around the water bottle. So that gas and vapor from the water on the earth went way up to the sky into the cold air and they clumped up together and formed the clouds. That's condensation. Precipitation. Precipitation is any form of water falling down to the ground. Let's go back to our boiling water. If you put a lid on top of the boiling water, you will see little droplets on the lid, and if you lift up that lid, you'll see it come down. That's called precipitation. Let's take the water bottle, for example. If you take that water bottle with all the condensation around, you lift it up, and the droplets that you see dropping to the ground, that's called precipitation. When the cloud gets too heavy from all the water, the water from the clouds up above fall down to the ground, it's called precipitation, which is just a fancy word for rain. Okay, let's recap what we've learned. The sun heats up all the water on our earth and that water evaporates and goes way up toward the sky. And when that gas and vapor touches the cold air in the sky, it turns into liquid, and those little liquid droplets clump up together and form the clouds. Clouds are made of water. And when those clouds get too heavy, the water falls back down to the earth, which is called rain.